I am standing on the balcony of the beautiful 1028 Highland Lakes Trace. This home is over 7,000 square foot and it's a beautiful custom built home. But let me tell you a little secret. We priced it over $200,000 under market value just simply because we haven't done the updates. Everything, all the systems, A+, everything's newer, ready to go, and this custom build has some amazing things that I'm gonna show you. It's being sold by the original owners, and if you'll stick with this video, I am gonna do a quick interview with the original owner so he can give you a rundown of some of the amazing things they did with this beautiful home. Starting with this beautiful place right here that we're looking at. You're in a cul-de-sac, it's private, the lot is over an acre. The only thing we're missing is you. So come on in and let's check this beauty out. All right, I know you've been waiting on this beauty. So I just walked in off that front porch and what's really cool with this cul-de-sac is you're looking straight down the street and you're perched up really nice and private, which I absolutely love. So when you walk into this beauty, I wanna talk about how it feels to live in this house and what you can do with it. And you're thinking, what do you mean what I can I do with it? What can you do with 7,000 square foot? Well, with this custom built home, they've made it perfect for that large family. And so I want you to picture this. When you walk in, you've got beautiful columns, crown molding, an incredible staircase and chandelier going right up. So you're building your structure is exactly what you would like in a luxury home. And as I told you, the reason we priced this several hundred thousand under what it should be priced is because it needs a little bit of paint. It needs a little bit of updating, but it's move in ready. You just got to make it a little more modern. So when you walk in, you've got this office space over here, which is really large. You got beautiful formal dining, which would fit any table you need right here on this side. And one thing that's really cool is if you want main level living, you got it. You've got a really large three car garage that serves the house that's on the front right there that you pull right up into. So if you don't like stairs and you like main level living, everything you need in this house is on the main level. So I'm gonna take you into the living area first and then we'll work our way to the kitchen, which is a nice, big, big, large kitchen. So as you can see, you've got beautiful hardwoods, you've got oak floors, you've got this nice area where you can have a nice workstation or whatever you need so you're still in touch with the family and doing a little work at the same time, which is what I love. And now listen, with this kitchen, even though you have huge formal dining, if you're entertaining, in addition to the formal dining, you've got an eat-in kitchen. And even though this was built, it's, it was built a little earlier than your, your most modern homes that are wide open, you can still entertain, still serve the living room, still serve the dining room and everything is just great. So if you're having cater, if you're having a caterer in and you're hanging out with your people, it flows great. So listen, this is a chef's kitchen. You got double ovens, custom cabinetry, beautiful island, granite tops, gas cooktop, all the things you want. And I told you the, the, the gentleman that's selling this was the actual person that built the home. And so he did not spare expenses what he put in. So you can see you've got these awesome windows everybody loves these style windows that roll out so if you want that natural air when it gets into october november flowing through you got it you got tons of natural light in here because of all the windows and before i take you to the master i want to show you this back porch because your office your your uh, not your office because you're sitting on a one acre lot on this one acre lot in the back there's plenty of room to entertain and you have a creek back there that flows so let's check this out So you got this beautiful, peaceful covered porch area accented with these columns. You've got the deck right here and you're overlooking a creek. You've got a nice fire pit down there and you've got plenty of space. But what I want you to do is just take just a second and listen to how peaceful this is because this lot is so private and look around. You don't see the houses around you, which in Highland Lakes is a jewel. So anybody that knows me knows it's hard for me to get to be quiet more, longer than 20 seconds. So I hope you enjoyed that piece of it. Now let's roll in. So let's go to the master bath. So when you go into the master bedroom and bath, you're gonna see that it is set up for a grand, grand entrance. What's unique is 
all the bedrooms are large. So when I take you upstairs, you'll see that all the bedrooms are really, really large and they could serve as a second master, a third master. So nobody has those little 10 by 10 bedrooms that you're just trying to shove in the corner. And again, pay attention to the detail, the beautiful crown molding, all the space in the master bedroom. And then when you roll into the master bath, oh yeah, this thing's ready for you to make it your own. You got his and hers closets right through here. And then you walk in and you've got this nicely laid out spa style bathroom. Like I want you to picture the modern accents and the things you can do because the layout, everything is set up perfect for you to do some updates that will make this just absolutely amazing. All right, come on, let's go take out, let's take a look at the upstairs. One thing I love about these stairs is I love how they built these stairs and the curvature and you've got big landings so you don't have to walk downstairs and deal with little bitty steps as you're coming down. And then when you get up here, it does not disappoint and there's tons and tons and tons of space. So as you come right through here, you've got a large bedroom. And then on both sides, it gets even better. First of all, if you watch the front of this video, you saw this beautiful balcony. So if you wake up, you want to have your coffee, look over the neighborhood, just chill out, enjoy nature, well, you can do it. So when you come this way, I promise you those big bedrooms where we got plantation shutters and you got this massive, massive bedroom. And we've got a bedroom that mirrors this one right on the other side that I'll show you. And what's cool about it is they built what's well, almost a master style bathroom as well. So you got big double vanities, you got your own shower, you got oversized closets, and then you've got private toilet space, which I love. I hate it when the toilet's just out in the middle there and it's not as perfect. Here's the thing, obviously with 7,000 square feet, you've probably got a big family and you're wondering, does it have the storage I need? Well, not only do you have a massive basement, but check out this attic space. Walk-in attic space is key. The reason it's key is because if you've ever had to drag stuff down from one of those pull downs or any of that stuff versus a walk-in, you'll understand the difference. And it's a big difference. All right, let's go check this other bedroom out. It mirrors this one, but we'll check it out anyway. With this big, large, wide hallway, there's so many different things you can do if you want to put other desk nooks out here, um, any kind of decoration, make it an art hallway, a million different things you can do with all this space. So I want you to think about creating this space for you. We gave you a, bank, a blank slate. We've given you an awesome price to create what you want. Here's that other bedroom I promised you. And the same style bath as you walk through. All right, last but not least, and he mentioned, I'm gonna take you back downstairs and I'm gonna show you the half bath in the hall, the access to the garage, the three car garage that's nice. But when we go downstairs, we got safe rooms, arts and craft type style if you want that, ping pong room, whatever you wanna turn it into, that entertainment, that man cave, we've got that for you. So come on, let's go check it out. First of all, I promise you the three-car garage. The access to the three-car garage is right here on the main level, so I promise you main level living. That's it right there. You got a really large half bath right here. One thing that I love, big laundry room. If you like big laundry rooms, then you're gonna like this one. So in this, you got a utility sink, another desk, and right here where my video man is standing, is another space for an extra fridge. It's always nice to have that extra fridge to hold all the drinks and all the things that kids and family members need that don't jam up your main fridge in the kitchen. So as far as laundry is concerned, main level, which is great, easy access, large, everything you need. Now, check out that basement. One thing I love is a daylight walkout basement. And I also love having the opportunity to, if you have kids home from college, you have in-laws, or whatever the situation is, and you need somebody to live in a basement, you want that basement set up for that. Well, this one is. 
So as soon as you get here, you can see you've got this nice, large, finished entertainment space. got this safe room right here for those Alabama bad weather days that you may have and you've also got a, a laundry hookup down here if you need it so all that living is perfect down here if you want to do some basement living somebody can have their laundry down here you have another bedroom right here and it's also got that full bath so if you, and in addition to that you always want natural light in the basement well this is a walkout basement and so you walk out to a beautiful covered patio right there. And again, you've got that nice full bath there. Let's go check out this patio while we're here. I love sliding doors. Look how big this covered patio is. Overlooking, guess what? That peaceful, quiet backyard. I'll be quiet for 30 more seconds just so you can take it in. So, we ran you through bedrooms upstairs, bedrooms on the main, bedrooms on the bottom level. So you got three levels of family living, tons of space, everything you need. Here's another entertainment room, and this was set up as a movie style room, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna set up your, if you wanna set up your couches here, your tables, your stadium style seating right here, you can. And then you've got this nice entertainment slash media room. And it also has a full bath on it. So we, you are not spared with bathrooms. You're not gonna run out of bathroom space and you don't have to walk very far to find one in this awesome home. Last but not least, we told you the original builder. So this is Miss Myra. She built this for herself and it's a big arts and crafts room. Of course, the boys kind of took it over with a little ping pong and things like that. But this is not even counted in that 7,000 square foot of finished space. It's just more space for you, but it might as well be finished because it's ducked and it's heated and cooled. So you can be just as comfortable in here. So go check out this. So as you can see, you got easy access to all your all your HVAC items, your hot water heater, all those things, but you've also got a, a ton of usable space that you can create whatever you want. Workbenches, all the things you need. So this house will serve a large family. It'll serve an at-home business. It's in a luxury neighborhood. You've got private lakes, you've got parks, you've got everything you need. The only thing missing is you, and you've got a blank slate to make this as beautiful as you'd like. Welcome to 1028. Highland Lakes Trace. I'm Gene Darden, 205-426-1113 for your private show. All right, so I am here with Dwayne Hooper. I promised you an interview, and the reason I'm interviewing Mr. Hooper is because it's rare that we sell a home that's been in Highland Lakes this long that the original owner is selling it. Not only are you the original owner, but you did a custom build. Yes, that's and you correct. you tailored this home to exactly how you wanted it. And I know there's some special things that you've done to it that we probably want to share with the next owner of this home. So can you yeah. tell me some of those things? Well, uh, something that's really not important, but uh, my wife and I designed this house on our 25th wedding anniversary on a plane ride to Hawaii and drew it out on graph paper. We came back and got an architect and started all the planning. We started buying all the uh, uh, lighting fixtures and other outside items that we knew that were going to be hard to get, uh, ordering the right kind of windows. We have a lot of really, really good materials built into the house. For example, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the columns on the front of the house are sp spun uh, of polymer material. And uh, all the columns inside the house, I think there's eight more columns inside the house or 10, uh, those are all of the same material as well. And we ordered them special and probably about $20,000 worth of columns. Also, this house, when we first started digging it uh, down to uh, where we wanted to build and get the level all right, we'd already contracted with the company to do all concrete walls in the house because we knew that would be the strongest and safest thing to do. Uh, they dug down so far and they hit solid rock. And we were going to go down about another foot, but we couldn't without dynamite. So we decided we would just keep the, uh, keep the house like it is and let it be sitting on a solid rock, which would be a great foundation. Other things we did, like inside the garage, I wanted absolutely no poles or weight bearing anything in the garage. So we used uh, the large wood I-beams over the garage, three-car garage, and it's a perfect garage. It's, 
insulated as well as the doors are insulated so it stays warm in there and it's not cold and uh, so it does a really good job with that. Speak of insulation, we did a ton of insulation in this house. We double insulated the ceilings. We insulated between bathroom walls and living areas and uh, between bedrooms and living areas. So if anyone went to bed earlier or going to the restroom, they didn't have to listen to other sounds that might come in uh, you know, from the TVs or whatever. So they don't have to listen to that. And we built in a, a porch into the back of the house that's actually under roof that works out very nicely, not only on the main level, but on the basement level as well, which is a daylight basement. Also in the basement is something that we planned out and uh, we have a safe room. So uh, as you know, we do have tornadoes around here and uh, it's a good place to be if you have a tornado for sure. But there's also a large uh, exercise art room in the basement also that my wife used for an art room and we used for ping pong. We used it for a lot of things and just loved that area. But uh, that's some of the special touches we put into it that we really thought a lot about and, and just really planned out large, large bedrooms because we only had two children, but we wanted them to have large bedrooms and each bedroom has a large, is large and it has a large bath as well and walk-in closets. Nice, and I've noticed your, I noticed your lot is over an acre. So tell me a little bit about how your family use this lot because you've got a nice creek in the back, you're sitting in a cul-de-sac, you're sitting up on a hill, which you're kind of kind of king of the castle, so to speak. So so how did you how much did you enjoy the size of this lot, which is rare in this neighborhood? Well, you know, we looked in Highland Lakes for a long time. We were living on the other side of Hoover and uh, and we kept looking for a lot over here because we really like Highland Lakes. And uh, we saw this lot and noticed it was on a you know had a nice hill, but and then we got to walking the lot and looked at all the corners. It's got the little creek back there and all the woods, you know, it's just a natural beauty back there in the woods. And you, you can barely see any other houses at all. And especially in the summertime. And uh, so, yeah, it's just a wonderful lot. There's a place to have a fire pit if you want to do that. The creek doesn't run all the time, but you know, most of the time it has some water in it. It's, we know it does get dry around here, but, uh, but up on the hill, we actually uh, set our house so that we'd be looking right down the, the street here on Highland Lakes Trace. Uh, now that the trees have become a lot more mature in the neighborhood, you know, our, our view is not quite the same as it was looking down the street, but looking at it over the mountains, it's even better because the trees are just absolutely stunning. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time. I know you sure. love raising your family here. And Dwayne has moved to Destin. Um, and as we get older and our nest becomes empty, that seems like a really, really good place to go, especially if you're an avid golfer like him. So we're really excited to bring a, a new owner and new life to this house. And we really appreciate your time. Well, thank you. Whoever uh, buys this house will have something to treasure. I can promise you that because it is extremely well built. It's quiet as a church mouse. Nice. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you.